Jigad Minds is the title of his book which he terms as a letter to persons supposed to his endeavor of lending a helping hand to the Jiga infested in the society. He recounts that the initiative has not been a walk in the park as he has met obstacles at every step he takes, moreover some from very familiar quarters. Because what I've experienced is that most people and those especially who are entrusted in uh, taking care of the poor are actually the same people who block, sabotage and outright distort information that, uh, that is out there for the people not to benefit. God had a cry and through the help they gave us shoes, good and food. Caroline Kafura and Stephen Joroge who are living testimony to the great work that Stanley and his team is doing in transforming the lives of children infested with jiggers are among thousands of beneficiaries of over 2 million pair of shoes which his team has managed to buy and distribute to children and elders alike. We have been able to rehabilitate it and fully uh, take back and empower about 250,000 people in Kenya. The 45-year-old anti-jiga campaigner noted that charity is not because one has surplus, but is anchored in passion of access. Dr. Kamau believes that the greatest wealth that he could ever possess is being alive and healthy, as he gives tips on how to deal with jiga mind, citing that remaining focused to one's goals and getting passionate about it as recipes to success. But in the next few years, we should be able to fully eradicate jiggers in this country. But we must be able to get uh, laid off the jiggered mind. And that's the people who are blocking, who are distorting information, and who are outright refusing people to support the communities. And especially, we should be wary of the civil society who keep on shouting about the mega deals, and yet they are not uh, helping the wanjiko. Stanley Kamau derives his inspiration from the fact that no one wanted to help the needy in the society, whereas teachers in schools with affected children ignorantly thought that having jiggers was something normal, a notion he says should be changed. Kamau says that ever since they commenced, more than 250 have recovered so far. Samuel Tawish, GBS News.